welcome back to our channel in this session i'm going to discuss about uh, the question paper discussion uh, for the subject renewable energy sources uh, in uh, vtu it's applicable for first semester and sixth semester so the question paper which i am going to display is for first year first year for the first year students even other semester students also can refer this because uh, the syllabus will be almost similar so moving on to the discussion so I have taken the question paper, uh, which has happened in the year of June, July, 2023, in the last time, in the last year. So if you go through that, definitely you will be getting an idea how to prepare for the examination and how to write. So those things you will be understanding after uh, completing this video. Let's get started. So I uh, so first question is actually list the list and explain the renewable energy principles of renewable energy sources. Here, what you are going to do is... Uh, you are supposed to mention about energy currents, dynamic characteristics, quantity and supply, or dispersed versions of centralized energy, complex system, situation dependence. Generally, you need to write that is actually principles of renewable energy. Okay. So the weightage, what they are going to provide is seven marks. You need to satisfy the point which I highlighted here so that you will be getting full marks. Question number one B explain the advantages. So advantages. Uh, of renewable energy sources and obstacles of implementing the renewable energy sources. What are the major advantages? So as you can observe, we have so many advantages like uh, uh, it's basically uh, indigenous source uh, resources, uh, renewable energy options are financially and economically competitive, then conversion technology, these things you can mention about the advantage. When it comes to the uh, cons, so inadequate documentation and the evaluation of cost and uh, experience, non-existence of policies to finance, then technical and economic uh, uncertainty. Also, the, it depends on the weather. So implement the technology is actually not that much advanced. These are the major setbacks of renewable energy sources. These are the, the points you need to elaborate it. You'll be getting six marks. Write a short note on geothermal energy. So first of all, you have to explain what is geothermal energy. So how you are extracting the energy. Okay. So how you are taking up the energy uh, in the earth crust. So if you can uh, draw the diagram, that could be great. Uh, and you'll be getting the marks directly. Like a sketches weightage is almost three marks. Your explanation carries four marks. So the thing is, the thing is if you explain uh, this, if you draw this uh, particular diagram so that you can explain very easily. For example, uh, see, uh, so we are actually, uh, steam wells are available. Steam wells are present here. Uh, we are using like a high stable ducts. Uh, from that, you are going to generate the steam. The steam is coupled with the steam turbine. Also, steam turbine, it is coupled with the, uh, the steam turbine generator. There is a generator set, alternator. So you can go for salient pole or non-salient pole type alternator. So the once the process is done, uh, the uh, what I can say, the excess of steam that you can uh, go for like condensation process. So the process you can go for like condensation, you can produce the fresh water ice also. So this is the basic block diagram of geothermal system. You can explain in brief. So obviously you'll be getting full marks. So that is regarding module number one for the first question. We have another option in the from the module one, like uh, question number two, that is an optional question. Okay, you can have a look on this. Write a short note on geothermal energy, similar kind of question. So not on social uh, like implications of uh, renewable energy sources. And uh, so what you can do is, uh, what is geothermal energy? The brief note on geothermal energy. So we have earth crust. From the earth crust, you are actually extracting the temperature of that molten state that will be around 3000 to 4000 degrees Celsius. If you are directly taking that particular, you are making use of the steam directly, then you are utilizing the operation of steam uh, steam thermal generators that you are going to use, uh, steam turbine generators that you are going to use, then uh, excess of elect the electricity can be produced. Like that, you can elaborate it. Describe the process of production of uh, synthetic crude oil from the oil shale. Okay. Here, what you are supposed to do is, uh, you are supposed to explain uh, the process. For example, using the block diagram, you can explain the process very clearly. See, production of synthetic crude oil from the oil shale. Oil shale is synthetic crude oil produced from re uh, restoring oil shale and uh, pyrolysis produced of the organic matter. Pyrolysis process you are supposed to underline here. Weightage is one mark. Then uh, the process is very clear, actually. Okay, insight, excite. Uh, okay, so those process like... Uh, fracturing, restoring, product mining, uh, crushing, restoring, finally refining, then liquid fuel will be extracted. And finally, you are extracting the byproduct also. So you need to elaborate with the help of this block diagram so that you can get the full weightage. Okay, this is the way how to answer it. I think it's clear to everybody how to answer it. That's very, very important how the marks is distributed. Also, you can have a look on that. Prepare accordingly. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सी डिफाइन इंटरनेट ऑफ एनर्जी आईओई एंड लिस्ट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स एंड एप्लीकेशन इंटरनेट ऑफ एनर्जी व्हाट इज इंटरनेट ऑफ एनर्जी आईओई मींस इंटरनेट ऑफ एनर्जी अपग्रेडिंग एंड ऑटोमेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर एनर्जी प्रोडक्ट्स एंड मैन्युफैक्चरर्स फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर यूजिंग आईओटी टूल्स आईओटी टूल्स यू आर यूजिंग फॉर सर्वे सर्विलियंस ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी okay moreover you can go for like the electronic interface power electronic devices are going to use and uh, like a communication so there are so many type of like how much amount of energy is generated how much amount of energy is selling to the grid those generally we can uh, uh, name the system as ioe okay so you have to explain the benefits of ioe and examples of ioe also you can explain so these are the weightage uh, which uh, which is applicable for question number 2 i hope it's clear to everybody and you can prepare accordingly also now moving on to question number 3 define the term very very important altitude angle incident angle zenith angle azimuth angle latitude angle desalination angle our angle i request everybody that this is most important question definitely i have seen in so many question paper this question has been repeated even you can expect for the competitive examination also if you are preparing for the government examination definitely you can expect this kind of question whenever you are explaining i request you everybody to draw the diagram and explain so that uh, examiner will come to know how the student is understood in spite of writing lines it is better to have the diagram draw the diagram then write up okay that is question number 3 a altitude angle the vertical angle between projection and sun rays on horizontal plane and the direction of sun rays if you can do a simple diagram and show it it will be very great okay then incident angle angle between the beam of ray and the nor uh, the normal to the plane first of all draw the nor uh, normal to the plane then you have to mention the incident ray okay, that is called the incident angle you are supposed to mention it could be great if you can draw a simple diagram and draw so that we will understand it carefully zenith angle it is a vertical angle between sun ray and uh, line perpendicular to the horizontal plane through the uh, like uh, this uh, you can explain with help of a simple uh, like a diagram solar azimuth angle if you need the diagram do let me know i will share that then latitude angle okay so all the explanation our angle so there is a calculation for computing the our angle also it is the measure of angular distance between the sun at the local solar time and the sun at the solar noon then at the latitude angle angle between horizontal and the line uh, total of the sun declination angle so you can go through this i request you to draw the diagram repeatedly i am saying because this is most important question question number 3b need sketch explain the functions of main components of solar flat plate collector so it is regarding the solar thermal system first of all you have to explain about what what is flat plate collector so collector uh, mainly used for solar uh, thermal energy conversion so you have to explain about the components so transparent cellular okay what is transparent cellular then you have to talk about the tubes as you can see we have the different type of tubes placed over here then absorber plate we are having the ab absorber plate this is actually called absorber plate which is mentioned over here then uh, insulation there is an insulation look at here we are having the insulation uh, to protect the thermal energy and uh, ca casting enclose the other component that is called the ca casting try to uh, introduce the component because uh, we are uh, we need to we need to give the solution for the uh, construction construction just means how the components are made how the solar plate characters are made up of you have to explain the importance also uh, transparent uh, the radiation uh, transmitted sheet then uh, tubes passes or channels that carry the water or air okay then absorber plate a metallic or uh, black surface uh, to try to go for like a black surface so that maximum amount of heat can be absorbed then insulation minimize the heat losses uh, then casing other components this you can explain very easily the marks distribution is very clear so try to draw the neat diagram so that you will be getting uh, three marks you will be getting okay sketch is three marks so the weightage of write up is three marks that is the way how they distributed hope you can manage it effectively okay prepare accordingly because this is most important question draw the diagram and try to add the explanation important components and importance then there is an actually question related to like a computation okay so what do you, like uh, calculate the angle made by the beam of radiation with the normal to the flat plate collector on december 1st at 9 am solar time for the location is already given 38 degree Uh, then 35 minutes 28 degree 35 minutes north the collector is tilted to the angle of latitude plus 10 degree with the horizontal and pointing drive south weightage is 6 marks easily we will be getting the answer so the concept is you should know the equations so here uh, what you can do is uh, uh, so uh, the angle made between the radi uh, that radiation cos theta t you are supposed to calculate cos phi minus s cos delta cos omega plus 
sin phi minus s plus into sin delta. Weightage is one marks. So use the formula for declination angle delta. From that you will be getting delta. Okay, December one first is nothing but n. You can compute the n. So it will be uh, three thirty five days. Okay, n will be three thirty five. You can uh, start from January first to December uh, December first. It will be like a three thirty five three thirty five days. So reference you can take it as a January first. Then you can uh, compute up to December first. Delta you will be getting easily by substituting the value like three sixty by three sixty five into two eighty four plus n. N you can put it as uh, three thirty five. Then uh, omega you can compute. Okay, like uh, omega corresponding to nine hours will be forty five degree of course. Then theta t you can compute by directly substituting. So cos theta t already I mentioned the equation now. So look at this. So we are going to substitute all the parameters and definitely you can reach the answer. The answer is forty four point seven seventy two. Uh, see, forty four point seventy two degree. So cos theta will be getting from that you can compute the theta. It is very easy. So try to, try to solve it once. Okay, let me know if you have any you know, queries. I can share the similar kind of problem also. So definitely you can expect similar kind of problem in the forthcoming examination. So thank you so much for watching this video. Before concluding this session, I request everybody to subscribe my channel. If the video is pleasant with you, I share with everybody. I share. I request you to share uh, the same video with your uh, friends and colleagues. Those who uh, need to need this particular video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.